Kim here and I'm with Toby O, the director of the Health Hub. And today we're looking into martial arts and how important it is to take care of your health. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm keen. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Boom. I've never done martial arts before, so I'm a little bit nervous, not going to lie. Yeah. Can you tell me why martial arts is important? Yeah, so it's really important because it teaches you how to defend yourself and especially uh, jujitsu, which is what we're doing today. It allows someone that is uh, smaller and um, weaker, someone that shouldn't be able to win in a fight against someone that's much, much bigger, much more dominant. Wow. <laughs> that could crush them. But if you have the skills and you've done the training before, then really like skills will beat size and strength. Wow. If you, yeah, if you've trained. That's amazing. So it's like, despite how small you are, you can learning these skills, which are yeah. really important, you can basically dominate in a sense. Yeah. And it's really important, um, Jiu Jitsu, because there's no striking and kicking, it's, yep. it's really, really safe as well. And it's yep. not as intimidating as other ones like Muay Thai or MMA or, you know. Wow. We're here cool. and um, a lot of fights end up on the ground. Yeah. Because get, you get into a tussle and you end up on the ground and that's when Jiu Jitsu really <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's yeah. really good for you, especially if you're a smaller person, yeah. that's where you get the advantage. Alright, so the first we're going to start off with um, the standing up game, which is uh, more of a takedown game. And uh, yeah, so basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to take our opponent down. But in Jiu-Jitsu, we don't just want to take the opponent down, we also want to be landing in a good position as well. So there's many different takedowns you can do. You can go for uh, double leg, you can go for single leg, or you can try to pull them down. But really, this is actually the most dangerous part of the sport. So, like for beginners um, and people that are really new to it, you don't want to be going too hard to takedowns because that's where the majority of injuries would happen. Because you're falling, you're landing badly. So it's always good to be really, really safe with um, the standing up game. And on the ground, it's much more safe. It's much more the flowy chest-like thing. But the standing up game is a bit of judo, a bit of wrestling. Let's do it. And yeah, today I'll go through um, a, a very, very simple and quite a safe takedown. It's the first one that I learned. Um, two years ago, my friend uh, Alex showed it to me. And so basically, you're here, you're standing with your opponent, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to break their posture down. And when they're like this, then you're gonna jump onto them here, bring, it, bring your whole body weight around, and then just bring your body pretty much like that. MMA guys in UFC will be going for like these big, ah! these big ones, <laughs> but they're, they're, kind of, they're kind of dangerous for beginners because uh, you can really slam someone and hurt their back. So basically today we'll just start with a more of a safe Yeah, we'll one. do beginning stuff, that's for yeah. sure. You better have a, a cup behind their, behind their neck and you want to control one of their hands and then you will boom, break their posture, fall onto them and then you can take, take the back, go into whatever position you want. That's yeah. just a good way to get, get in the fight to the ground. You want to take the stand-up game to the ground and be in a good position. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, you can, you so for those who, so how do they stop a takedown? How do you stop that takedown? Yeah, well, so basically, if you're... You don't want, for this one that I just showed you, you yeah. don't want your head to be pushed down. So yes. if I'm trying to pull your head down, you would knock my hand off. Okay. You, would, you would push push me off. You, oh, you know, so because you... once your head's like this, yeah. then you put your posture's broken yeah. and they can just put their body weight on you. Oh, okay. So you have to, it's, in a sense, you kind of have to block their moves yeah. and kind of like adjust yourself. Yeah. It's all oh, about okay. like the using the opponent's momentum and um, breaking their posture against him. Using leverage, mm. getting getting your knee, getting your knees, getting your elbows between you and your opponent so that they can't even punch you, they're trying to punch you yep. and their weight's not on you. Yep. And then also using parts of your body to take away momentum. So you, yep. you, you would block their leg and you would roll them. So yep. if you want to get in that position, I was just on you. Oh, oh yeah, you weren't on me. So you're in like yeah, this? Like, I don't like, it's not good to be in the bottom, so you want to try to get out of this as soon as possible. So what I would do is I'd block her leg, and then roll her over. And then you can get up and you can, you can run away, <laughs> if, you, if that's the case. But yeah, it's, it's just knowing like these little things. And I thought I haven't been doing it for very long, like not very long at all. So I'm, not, I'm no, no pro or expert here, but it works. Like if I rest with my mates, I've got housemates here that are like 90 kilograms, 95 kilograms like athletes. I weigh 74 kilograms, but I can win even though I'm not stronger, I'm not more athletic because I know a little bit of um, the essence and tactic, the technique, like getting getting your knees between, using leverage to take your, your opponent's center of balance off, tricking them to go one way, but then taking him this way. Yeah. So it's, it's a, it's a very it mental game. It is a mind game. game, not gonna lie. Like yeah. doing it, when you're doing it and when you learn, it's, it's quite simple. So once you learn the simple techniques, I think obviously with practice, it becomes more at 
flow, that kind of flow state. Mm. But if you don't know it at first, it seems very intimidating. Like you, you know, when you go, like you said before, when you go into a gym and you see all these big people doing it, you kind of feel, oh, cause I'm small, I can't do it. But you're heavier than me, but I could clearly get you off just with that simple technique. Here with Ina. Ina, are you keen to do what we're about to do? Yeah, I'm pretty keen. <laughs> what about like, What's your experience in terms of learning jujitsu and kind of just learning self-defense in general? Yeah, well, I think it's pretty um, exciting um, just to have a role with like some guys and just like not being scared that they're like stronger than me or like bigger than me. And then like it just feels like I'm powerful when I can actually beat like a guy that's double my size. Like, no! <laughs> so, like this guy. <laughs> so what you're telling me is, you know, despite you being a girl, the fact that you can learn the technicals of how to take someone down, self-defense, it, it makes you feel good? Yeah, it makes you feel good. Just like having that power over someone, I guess, in a way, and just like knowing that if someone, like a random, like jumps on you or does anything, you know that like, you're confident that you can actually like fight your way out of it, or even mm. just like have a way to escape. Not even just like beat them up, but just like escape. Yeah. So yeah, I think having like that knowledge is quite um, important as a girl. Let's go. Submission only. Submission <laughs> only. As long as the legs are around you, you can't do much. Go for a finish. Right. I thought that was you. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Almost. Come back when it's like too much. Whoa, pretty flexible. Shit. <laughs> I don't want to break her. <laughs> you were doing a couple, you had her arm like that. That was fucked down. That's me. That's me. Tap when you're done, Jayden. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not so good. Oh, that was fine. I'm done. <laughs> so, as you can see, guys, <laughs> it's just a bit of fun. It's fun. You can do it with your friends. Um, like Hina said, it's good to learn self-defense. And yeah, yeah like and there's no punching. No punching, yeah. no pulling hair, no biting. So quite, quite it's clean. Like, yeah, kind of. It's kind of like dancing. Yeah. yeah, and it's good because you can do it with your friends. Yeah, to be honest, I really, really enjoyed that. I am so much more confident now, just learning this tiny little bit of, yeah. you know, where these positions are, how to do certain things. You just build up your confidence and then yeah, you can basically do it yeah. all the time. Just build from there. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. I am lost for breath, literally. <laughs> Toby, thank you for teaching me all the little no technicals worries. and pretty much the groundwork that makes up jujitsu um, and wrestling and just learning all about that stuff. And Ina, thank you so much for participating with me. <laughs> I feel like we 
are a lot closer now as people <laughs> and apart from wrestling it's just it's just so social like you can just enjoy it with your yeah. mates yeah we just hang around here and roll all day it's really <laughs> yeah well thanks for watching guys boom catch us later <laughs>